Hello, beautiful Geminis. Thank you um, for watching my channel. Also, too, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing, liking, and commenting. And I'm almost to 100 subscribers. And I'll be giving away this. I'll be doing a drawing for this beautiful Veracruz Amethyst. So excited. Almost there. And also, too, I will be um, doing another drawing for every 100 subscribers. Okay. Now, I'll just continue to add to the original 100 so you'll still have plenty of opportunities. And I'll be doing a special um, gift give giveaway for every 100. All right, beautiful Geminis. <clears throat> now remember, uh, this is a reading for the collective. So take what resonates, toss the rest. That with the beautiful Geminis. I always get so excited when I do your guys' readings because my son is a Gemini as well. So I always like to see what's going on. <laughs> Wow, throat chakra. Okay, you guys, um, y'all may have an imbalanced throat chakra, trouble with communications or miscommunications. Okay, so make sure uh, you take care to, you know, watch what you say and don't be afraid to express yourself. I know you guys be quiet sometimes so make sure you're not spending too much time alone Oops. one more Gemini beautiful Gemini's one more Also, to make sure that <clears throat> you walk away from any kind of heated discussion or debate, right? Um, we're all human beings. We're not always going to agree all the time, okay? And that's okay. Yeah, walking away is definitely um, a much better option. Okay, so recently you've definitely been coming into some triumph, triumph success, um, especially with staying in balance, all right? You guys are doing a remarkable job on that. And some of you will be experiencing a little bit of broken heartedness um, and, you know, spiritual strength, okay? There might be some financial problems. And uh, just make sure that you don't carry this broken heart with you, okay? If it's a relationship, you know, make sure that you turn it over to a higher power. Call on spiritual strength. But yes, there is going to be some sort of ending. Now, it looks like it's temporary, okay? It looks like if you tap into your intuition here, all right, and you don't get all tongue-tied and tied up with the energy... Um, you guys can definitely turn around and make it a very triumphant success. Just stay balanced. Yeah, this broken heart is very, very temporary. And do not fall into conflict and defeat. Okay? Again, if you get into a heated discussion, make sure that you um, take a day or two to really think about things before you just spout off at the mouth okay time out the garden and the gate make sure that you retreat long enough to see the beauty around you the beauty in the relationship the beauty of the universe okay 
and make sure you stay connected in, during this time, okay? We're going to get some um, clarifiers. Yeah, it's definitely some heated discussions going on with you guys. And it could be, you know, you've know, been out socializing so much that you really need a break. Clarifiers. One more. Oops, there it is. <laughs> this flew right out of the deck, too. Okay. Let's see here. Yes, Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Yes, it's definitely um, coming up. There's going to be a little bit of financial situation here. Okay, you guys have worked so hard. Okay, you've been work way, working way too hard. Okay, make sure that you take rest. All right. Um, because if you get sick, that's more money out the door. All right. So make sure you're taking care of yourself and page of wands. Yes. Taking a time out. All right. Make sure that you give your problems to a higher power and know that the universe is here to support you. And this energy is going to move so rapidly, even though Mercury is in retrograde this is going to be a very fast-moving um, situation. And Seven of Wands. Do not for a second engage, you know, in these heated discussions, all right? Make sure that you don't get tied up in your throat chakras. And remember, not everyone is against you, okay? And the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, remember, you know, even though the financial situation, okay, as long as you're slow and steady, steady and slow, you'll move right past this. Just make sure that you get plenty of rest, okay, because doctor bills can get pretty expensive. All right, let's get some guidance cards for you beautiful Geminis. <laughs> I think we're going to do the fairies today. Maybe a Cosmo. Let's see. Guidance for Geminis. Oops. And we'll do a um, lover's oracle card as well. Let's get one from the Cosmos. What does Spirit Universe want you guys to focus on this week? <laughs> okay. And yeah, I'm on the boat. The boat's rocking in the water. Lover's Oracle. Into the woods, stranger in a strange land, new experiences, feeling uncertain, transition zone. All right, so you guys have been out there manifesting a lot, taking a lot of new action, okay? Remember, anytime you change your vibration, also too, please check out the manifestation series. Um, episode three talks about vibration and shifting and transition. And it's okay if you feel a little lost or confused this time. That's what happens when we shift vibrationally. And it also creates this resonance. It creates these, you know, because people get used to your current vibration. And then when you change, they don't really know exactly what it was. But, um, you know, it, it makes them uneasy. And it causes you know, some resonance, okay? 
Shimmer, glamour, confidence, allure, charisma. That is you guys right there. Just be confident. Allow your charisma to lead you through these um, <clears throat> through these confrontations. All right. Just be confident. You know. What's that old saying? You can always uh, catch more honey with. Anyway, you know that sweet saying. It's better to be sweet than mean. All right. Make sure that you stay in balance. Stay in your center. And allow your charisma to get you through these moments, okay? And the cosmos. <clears throat> Intuition, all right? Intuition. Make sure you're staying connected to your intuition. Try to react from a higher place. Connect with your higher self. And then, when you're going through these uh, situations, allow that energy to just kind of channel through. Like, what would my higher self do in this situation? And then your lover's oracle. Look how beautiful that is. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. For My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Again, calling on a higher power, calling on an archangel, um, you know, and also to love yourself, love yourself, be patient with yourself. Even if you guys do get triggered um, and you react in a way that you wish you hadn't, do not beat yourself up for it, okay? Beautiful. And again, you guys... Uh, if y'all need a personal look into y'all's uh, situation or you want a personal reading, I'll link that information below. Okay? And you guys have a blessed day.